Well, to date, I've actually started with Dectronix as a master scheduler, um, and I was a master scheduler for approximately three years, and then I moved into a material manager role, which I'm my current position, and I've been doing that for about a year and a half. Uh, differ overall by just the level of um, involvement that I had as a master scheduler. I was kind of more on my own. Um, I focused more on the overall factory capacity and loading and then communicating that back to the business unit and the different sales groups. As a material manager, I'm more involved with the day-to-day -day operations of our materials group. I have a lot more people that, uh, that um, answer to me on a daily basis and I'm setting the processes and priorities for that group every day. So a lot more um, uh, internal involvement um, in the different factors that go into our, our materials group in our factory. A lot of communication. So basically whether you're communicating with crew leaders and supervisors on the manufacturing floor, um, discussing uh, issues and concerns with a salesperson or a, a sales coordinator, um, working with a project manager to get a job out, um, you're constantly talking to different people about our orders. Um, and then on top of that, you do have some standard work that you have to do and you need to do some report analysis and some, some item analysis as well. But the bulk of your day is spent uh, communicating with, with other entities within Dactronix. I think one of the things that a lot of people miss when they talk about the master schedule role is how many different levels of the organization you get to be a part of. So um, I've been in meetings not just with crew leaders and supervisors in our factory, I've been in meetings with vice presidents and CEOs. And so um, I think it's pretty special you get to see more of a top-down approach um, and a lot more different levels of Dactronix and really some of the planning and the thought that goes into making our company what it is and why it's so special. Uh, I think the first one probably be challenging. Um, every time you come into work it's different and there's a new thing that you face every single day so you have to be able to to see the, the, the trees through the forest and be able to, to understand that. Um, I think the second thing that for me especially is very rewarding. I've gotten a lot of um, email pictures and letters from customers appreciating the effort that not just myself but the factory and Dactronics have done to get something ready for their first event, their first game. Um, and I think that's been pretty neat to see their, their thanks. Um, I think it's very fast paced, so when you come to work, there's really not a dull moment. There's not a lot of waiting to figure out what you're going to do next. There's always something in front of you, so um, time goes really fast, um, especially in our summer season. And then finally, I think just very interactive, much like I mentioned before, is that um, you're dealing with so many different people on a daily basis. Um, you really get to see a lot of faces and names within Dactronics, and it's really interesting to see the different groups that you work with. Um, the people I work with, by far. Um, I think we have a great group of people in this factory as well as within Dactronics. And so whether I'm dealing with uh, an hourly employee on the floor or dealing with a vice president, I think um, I've had lots of really good interactions and in there. The people I work with, I think, are the reason I come to work every day.